Okay, so we got, yeah, US soldiers. One of them got hit pretty hard there. You apparently think there's VC out. You're surrounded on all sides. This is not a good day for the US Army. None of this, really, is America's finest hour. This entire conflict was a bit of a shit show. As well as ours, we were here as well. Bloody hell, this is more hectic than World War II. And that's saying something. Okay, ghost soldiers aren't our problem. The mortifier might be. I guess that could be useful. And the burning Vietnamese village. Whoa. That blood bag I want. What are they shooting at? Anything that moves, probably. Bloody hell. Yeah, well, okay, so this is obviously... <laughs> not a little bit apocalypse now, is it? You never get a sight of the enemy. It's always the American soldiers. It's very specifically US soldiers. I'm pretty sure those were US soldiers in World War One. though it's hard to tell. Those were definitely US soldiers in World War Two. Look like airborne or some uh, parachute infantry. And then we've got, well, I can't tell here, US soldiers in Vietnam. I, I never get a glimpse of the Germans or the Vietnamese in this one. The enemy are out of sight. And we just left the battlefield itself. I don't need to reach Ungers. And his broken doll. Horrific thing that I don't like. I know it's representative of his burning desire to get back to BB or like him trying to replace it or fill the void with something or there's something there, but uh, it's really unpleasant. Okay. He's lighting it with the embers of the burning village. Once again, Unger and his ghost mates versus Sam and his bags full of blood. Nice. He's got a flair for the dramatic, I'll give him that. And then focuses in on his constantly shifting compass. Yes, it is. I'm going to throw a grenade at you, if that's alright with you. So, you know what? Why did you put it away? Is that him? I don't actually know if I hit him. So my folks. 
Where's the man himself? I'm in I'm in hiding now in the bush. I wanna actually uh focus on Clifford. But I can't quite tell if that's just one of his soldiers or the I think it's you, based on where I'm hearing that sound coming from. I think, yeah, you're the one with the green eyes. I need to not be here. Hang on, give me the assault rifle. Go, move. I'm getting riddled. Where is he? There we go. I don't think this anti PT handgun is actually that great. I need more blood bags. Now let's check that. I want to drop this one. Ah, shit. And that one. And <laughs> reorganize everything, because I'll have to. Alright. Already used up two. I've almost already used up a third. Well, you know... We all want things we can't have. I'm just going to restock with blood bags up here. I think grenades might be the best. Might be the best weapon against these guys. Seems he's this way now. Grab another one, then we'll engage. I'm sorry. Where are you, baby? Okay, keeping quiet. Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Specifically Unger. Green eyes. That's what I'm looking for. One, two, I've got four soldiers. But I can't see Clifford. He's over there. He's on the other side. Shit. I'm going to try and get around. I'm I'm doing snell I'm doing stealth. Get my baby. We're gonna try to go around them. I want, I want my baby back, back, back. Stay in the brush. I just I 
I think it's you. Yep. Come on. Oh, shit. Find cover. And the weapon. Oh, for God's sake, he put it away. Where's... You're down? Alright, there you are. Use the anti-BT handgun. There we go, lovely. That feels really good. Alright, make sure this weapon is loaded. I probably need another one. I l we need, we need reinforcements. Assault rifles, assault rifles. I'd like another. Mm, doesn't look like it. Hematic grenades. That's good. Want you to be happy. But we need more blood bags and I need another anti BT handgun. Those are useful. I'm almost out of that. You know what? No, that's almost done. Drop. Another lot. Where is he? He's behind me now. Where are you then? There you are. Another grenade, come on. Shit, I need to get these guys off me. I need time to recharge. And I need that blood bag. Of course it was out. Come on, Sam, move, 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 grab, grab, grab. Okay. So let my blood refill before I start using any weapons that will cost it. Come on. How are you not dead yet? Bloody hell. Come on. I need backup. Open. Okay. 
shit, now I'm taking direct fire. Come on! Stop, what are you holding? I think I was trying to aim and he picked it up. There we go. God, I'm not done yet. I'm this one's going really poorly. Don't go into the fire. I need, I'm gonna need another assault rifle. This one's almost out. In fact, I'm gonna drop this one. How am I doing in terms of blood bags? I must be running low by now. <laughs> oh dear. Uh... Middle mouse to select multiple, that's weird. I'm down to two. Offload all of that. Okay, before I do anything else, I need more blood bags. And another assault rifle. That way. I have got to find another way down there specifically. All right, no, I got to go around. I want my baby back. You'll just give me a moment. I'll get to you. I'm going through an awful lot of blood, not just. Uh, from getting shot at, but from all the weapons I'm firing, everything I do uses blood. It's all my fault. Blood bag. My name is Clifford Unger. Okay, let's get those into the utility pouch. There you all are. There's nothing else left. I really am going to have to focus down Unger. following him directly, actually, I can see his footsteps. Alright, uh, this view is not what I wanted to do. Alright, got him. Alright, so he's the guy with the with the glowing tentacles around him. I lost him again. I'm sorry. Oh, there you all are. Big bunch of you. Another one down. Oh, that was a that was a lot more clean. That's what you get for getting the jump on him. And that's dealt with them. Oh, I thought it was gonna go down there a few times. And you're coming up to him once again to have a look at him. You don't speak to him. And he's gonna do that thing where he grabs you and looks like he's trying to stab you.
Every time. He's doing the same thing. Whistling the song, Sam whistles that too. Are you actually gonna give him Lou? Maybe. We're getting out of here. I promise. What is Sam's goal with this? Give me back my baby. Are you clear of hunger? They actually spoke to each other. Who are you? Are you the father? There's something of Clifford left. <laughs> the Battle of the Dads. They told me your name was Sam Porter. But you are Sam Bridges. He's kind of both. The future. Sam, you bring people together. Bridge to the future. Here's dog tags. Come on, Sam. Stand up. Have you? Yeah. Why didn't you try talking this one out the first time? Is what I would have. Is what I'm wondering. If this is supposedly going to work, and if he's not going to just stab you. If, any, if, if there was any time to talk it out, it would have been World War One. He's actually giving him the baby. And he's giving it back. That's all they needed, just to chat it out. And this time, it's a heartfelt hug. And he's... ...was wearing... ...a suit. And now he's gone away. I, I, I assume he still wants revenge on Bridges and... ...Amelie. A soldier under him. Sent us into the jaws of hell. It was you that brought us home. Maybe that what I read wasn't about. Die hard man, I'm not sure. Maybe it was no, but it was after the death death stranding. And Clifford worked for the United States. You interview data, locked in syndrome, about the dream catcher, and kipus, kipus, sorry, uh, and bring me my baby, 
complete episode 11, Clifford Unger. That was a fun one. So, is that it? Is Clifford sort of just reconciled with us having his BB? It seemed like it. They hugged it out, they talked it out, they hugged it out. And he let us go. Where are we now? Look at all the <laughs> figurines I've got. We, we, we made it into the... room. Someone's dragged us in. Liam Lake. And we've still got the dog tags. Sam, uh, are you okay? I reviewed your logs. It looks like you were caught in a supercell. And Was I? And an instant later on the other side of Ground Zero. Not far from Port Knot City. Port Knot. Remember Victor? He found you lying unconscious by the harbor and brought you inside. Wow. So we got transported by... I think Cliff might be loose father. You, you think that now? You just... Give me back my baby. <laughs> you just working this out now. Impossible. Cliff was born. He gave me this. Maybe he's trying to tell us something. Something about the BBs, maybe. About how they were made. Yeah, the, the time discrepancy is confusing, but... Didn't if Cliff like was from the... Trying to hurt us. It felt like... Like he just wanted to talk. Like you said you saw him holding the director captive on the beach. Yeah. They must have some history we don't know about. The man, Bridget. Funny you should say that. I've got something you should see. Found it in the archives while I was digging around. It's a pre-recorded message from the director labeled, If I Don't Come Back. This message is insurance, in case something happens to me. For Bridges' eyes only. And I sure as hell hope that's who's watching. I got a little present from Amelie. Said she'd take me to the beach if I wanted. But I'd need this doll. Which is Clifford's doll. Really creepy doll. It's a trap. It has to be. But I've decided to play along. You've all been playing along too, haven't you? You know this mask hides more than just my face. Wow, he looks like a man. <laughs> Completely nondescript. Emily's a blank slate. He's got nothing to hide really behind that Don't mask. Ask. He just wears it because he thinks no it looks cool. She ever Strand. Ghost. And the thing about ghosts. Watch as well. I wore it as well. I've never met Emily in person. Have you? Ever seen her in the flesh? Shook her hand? Touched her? The original team we sent was divided into two groups. Emily was with the first. Mama and Hartman the second. They had no direct contact with her. Yes. Amelie's group was wiped out in Edge North City. Everyone but her. Everyone who could say whether or not she exists. Bullshit. She's real. We touched, all right? She and I both. Well, I've only ever interacted with her hologram. I'm telling you. I've met her. In person. Lots of times when I was little. Yes. But on the beach, where she's she still around, had to say about her daughter. Emily was born on the beach. There, her ka remained, though her ha came to this world. This division of body and soul forced her to spend most of her childhood in the hospital. But though her health was poor, her doom's numbers were off the charts. Her supernatural talents blossomed as she grew older and overcame her limitations. But by the time she was 20, she could travel to and from the beach, body and all. 
And that's where she started spending all of her time. No. If you wanted to get in touch with Emily, it was by a hologram or nothing. The president insisted on that. I swore an oath to the president and to America. As far as I was concerned, her word was law. That's not how presidents work, but okay. Was her daughter and the best candidate to succeed her. I believed it. But when the archives were restored, I couldn't resist testing out my access privileges. And that's how I found out. Bridget was diagnosed with uterine cancer in her 20s and couldn't have children. You see? Doesn't add up, does it? Also, Amelie There's is no identical Amelie to Bridget. Be Bridget's biological daughter. So where'd she come from? From Bridget directly? Who is she? Is she even real? How can we be sure that Amelie is an extinction entity when we don't even know if Amelie is Amelie? Hell, for all I know, the EE -E theory might be bullshit. But if it's not, if she's the cause of the Death Stranding, then I have to accept her invitation. I've loaded my gun with hermetic rounds. Sam's blood. It connects my gun to her, to me, to him, all of us. Which might be how I get there. He's got a direct connection. I should be able to take it with me to the beach. I'm gonna stop what she started by stopping her. One last confession. I'm just a man. No powers, nothing special. Don't have dooms, I can't repatriate like Sam either. Don't know the first thing about dying, I had never tried it. <laughs> yeah. I've been to hell. Every single battlefield was hell. But no matter how terrible it got, I never died. Because all I ever did was run from death. Well, I gotta go. Die Hard Man was the good guy all the time, and Amelie is an unknown quantity. Don't let me down. Episode 12 Bridges. After he recorded this, the director jumped to the beach. Or rather, Amelie summoned him there. He had a gun to Bridget when I saw him. Then Cliff showed up, took him away. I thought he went to the beach to confront Amelie. Yeah, she was there too. She was the one who got me out. Huh. It's so obvious to me now. I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. It was Amelie who... Cut off. Fantastic timing. It was Amelie who what? What happened? The chiral network dropped out. According to Lakna, it won't be long before it's completely unusable. So all our hard work was for nothing. Let me finish what I was saying, sir. I'll tell him. Fraja, you look like shit. You should be resting. I know. I need to tell you something. I had a little chat with Higgs back on the beach. Didn't take much to make him talk. He say why he betrayed you. He said it was part of her plan. What? She was their leader. The terrorist voidouts, the whole extinction agenda. Says Higgs, but. Like how she was. I know you don't want to believe it, but it lines up with what Die Hard Man said. Higgs turned on me after he met Emily. That's. At first, he was looking to expand his territory, and I had a power he could use. He did say he met someone who. That's how he ended up working with me. Completes him. He was no terrorist. He just wanted to reach more people. But then she shows up with abilities that put mine to shame. Hell, she could even control BTs. So Higgs decides to go with her. And that's when she turned him into her agent of extinction. 
Amelie gave Higgs his power. Yep. She made him her homo demons. What about Bridget? You could have tell me what she was doing on the beach. You got an answer for that, too? I know it's a lot to swallow. But Higgs said himself that Amelie is an extinction entity. I looked inside his pod, and there was no BB in there. I'm sure I've seen a BB in there. Look at what was. A doll. It's the same doll Die Hard Man had. This is their bridge baby. There's this idea that the terrorists brought back BB Tech and Bridges was just following suit. It's garbage. Their methods and yours are completely different. It's a different I Your concept of a. You to the world of the dead. They're dollings them to Amelie in her beach. You know who else had dolls like this? Cliff. He was carrying them on the battlefields. Cliff, Higgs, the director. All three of them were drawn in and controlled by this extinction entity. And who is this EE -E really? Is it Bridget? Is it Amelie? I think it's Bridget. I think I it was always Bridget. Answers are on the beach. What she wants and why. If we get to the bottom of that, then maybe we can still avert the last stranding. You've got to find her, Sam. Whoever she really is. Oh. She's waiting for you on the beach. She keeps saying Go that. Back east. Capital Nut, then? Her soul might become stranded on the beach. Oh. She needs crypto biots fast. <laughs> Luckily for us, Fragile Express keeps a stockpile there in Port North City. So we'd like you to grab some for us while you're in the area. All the details are on the terminal upstairs. Please, Sam. This is critical. Understood. Can I have a shower first? Uh, I'm going to have lost all my cargo. So it's in a private locker in Lake Knot City, so I'm gonna have to make all of that stuff again. Alright, fine. Let's have a shower first, and then we'll go up and... ...get those Cryptovites to, uh, to Fragile. We might as well save her life. Seems like the least we could do. But all the time, Amelie has been lying to us. I'm not surprised, strictly speaking, by that. Because Die Hard Man, the build-up of Die Hard Man's... Um, being the bad guy seemed like an obvious bait and switch to me. But, and, and the fact that Amelie and Bridget both have the same actor and look identical, except that one of them wears a white coat and glasses and is a little older, is fairly indicative. Anyway, uh, I'll read... I'll read mail later. Let's just move on. I didn't check on Lou, but we're fine. <laughs> Setting up a birthday cake. That song's gonna get stuck in my head. Today would be a very special day, if you mommy asked me. You're not born yet. But the more candles, the merrier, right? I honestly think Anga would have been a really good father, actually. It's time for you to come out into the real world. Apart from the being a super soldier thing. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I can't blow this out. It would have been 
the baby's birthday. No, I've got my gear on me. Sam, check the terminal for available orders. I know, dead man. I've been doing this for a while. All right, we'll pick up these orders, and but basically, it's head back to Capital Not City. <laughs> 